from around the globe. It's the Cube, covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman, and this is the Cube's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience. Going to be digging into GreenLake, and to uh, help me with that, happy to welcome to the program first time guest, Arwa Kodora. She is the Vice President of Worldwide Sales for GreenLake with Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Arwa, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so as, as I teed up, you're relatively new in the role, so if you could just give us a little bit about your background, what brought you to HPE and, and what your focus is there. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Um, week seven, so definitely new in the role, um, uh, came from sort of a public cloud, uh, cloud native uh, set of experiences through Microsoft. And previous to that, it was Xamarin, where we focused on a lot of mobile application development. Um, ultimately, what brought me to HPE, to be honest, is the fact that while cloud has brought a ton of innovation to you know, many companies, many industries, uh, many applications, I think I also see the opportunity that it's not just about public cloud, but it's about bringing cloud experience everywhere. Um, and so looking at the agility, the innovation, the speed, um, and you know, some of the cost savings that the cloud has brought companies, um, I, I believe that from a GreenLake perspective, we now have an opportunity to modernize IT infrastructure and bring it to our customers in a way that they've never seen before. And so ultimately that that was what brought me to HPE. All right, well, what excited me about having the discussion with you is you talked about some of the application modernization, cloud native pieces that you've got history on. You know, my background's infrastructure. But as an infrastructure person, we know the role of infrastructure really is to support those applications. Uh, a, a term I've used uh, for a number of years now is you want to modernize the platform and then you can modernize the application on top of them. Wonder, you know, what are you hearing from customers? You know, when I talk to developers, often it is you know, a hybrid model of how they're building things. It is no longer monolithic. Things are changing and moving everywhere. Data, of course, has huge importance. So help us understand that role of the application and data uh, when it comes to GreenLake. Yeah, and I think one of the great points that, you know, whether it's research or our customers, what we ultimately know is 70% of apps and data remain on premises today, right? Whether that's in data center, it's in co-location, um, or at the edge, right? Um, and, and that's for a good business reason. Um, that they have to remain in those data centers, right? We have things like, you know, latency that we have to deal with. We have governance and security. Um, we have data gravity. We have application dependencies, right? And so being able to think about, well, how do you solve that problem for the remaining 70% of applications? So if they can't move into the cloud, well, how do we bring the cloud to them, right? And, and that's exactly where GreenLake fits in which is let's create that cloud-like experience from everything for you know, the obvious things, the pay as you go, the um, sort of the self-service, the managed for you, right? Bringing that in to the customer's you know, data center, again, Colo, the edge, I think becomes a really powerful value prop. And again, from my experience, right, not every application is going to be a cloud native application that is being um, built newly for cloud only capabilities. Um, and there's still a lot of great applications that can still be built on prem um, with cloud like experiences um, that are brought to you by GreenLake. All right, so uh, Arwa, you, you have the, you know, the, the sales title and when I think about uh, HPE, you know, HPE's had a number of offerings to help customers along that journey uh, towards that cloud model that you're talking about. Uh, a lot of them, you know, I, I think back, you know, go back, you know, seven years ago, it was very much, you know, here is our stack and we have hybrid models and we're working with service providers. Uh, GreenLake is very much managed service. So help us understand a little bit, uh, you know, from, from the, the go to market sales standpoint, the sales standpoint, that mind shift of going from you know, here's gear or here's the stack we're doing to, yep. you know, really it is a managed services offering. So uh, I, I would think it's a, it, it's a different pitch, if you will. It's a different it mindset. It's different necessarily who you might be selling it to. A absolutely. And I think if I had to think about what we're announcing at Discover, right, and how we're evolving GreenLake, 
um, it really starts to focus on launching new cloud services like containers, virtual machines, storage, compute, right? Sort of the core cloud offerings. Um, but then also adding things like machine learning ops, you know, data protection for cloud and on-prem um, and networking services, right? And from a GreenLake perspective, I think if I had to think about the go-to-market, it, it's yes, managed services, but what does that mean, right? That means new self-service cloud experiences via GreenLake Central, which has very detailed um, sort of consumption and billing data to allow you to have that transparency. It also gives you self-service capabilities, right? So that you can, you know, um, spin, spin up uh, virtual machines or configure the services that you need or that you've uh, purchased from us. Um, and then also having the ability now to have new workload optimized sort of t-shirt sized building blocks, right? So being able to very quickly find out from our customers, what is it that they need? Having sort of small, medium, large capabilities, again, thinking about those workloads that they're trying to support. And then in under 14 days, being able to deliver the capability to their doors and have that spun up and ready to go. Yeah, one of the advantages, of course, is you know rather than thinking about okay, I've got all of these products, uh, it's now more like a service catalog. I have a lot of different ways, exactly. uh, and 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 you've got things that like oh wait, you know can that run in there? Uh, you talk about the the, the ML and the analytics, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. HP has done a, a few acquisitions in the space uh, uh, to help enhance that, like like MapR. I, I know we've been talking a bit about uh, you know blue data uh, and the like. Uh, I'm curious from uh, you know, the, the touch points that you're having in customer, is it shifting from, you know, it, it's not necessarily, I think the person that, you know, buys the server, uh, right. you know, cloud often was the line of business uh, driving from the application down. So how does that uh, alignment uh, between the, the field and, and the customer uh, shifting and how do you expect GreenLake to kind of move that along even more? Yeah, that, that's right. It becomes a business uh, sort of driven conversation, right? So what are the outcomes that our customers are driving for uh, from a business transformation perspective? So if you think about what they're trying to do is they don't want to have to worry about delivering their own IT, which often is slow, um, maybe contains supply chain um, risks. Um, and then of course, there's sort of the over-provisioning uh, risks that come with that as well. Um, it, the, the way I see our role from a go-to-market perspective is we do have to engage and we are engaging new audiences that we probably haven't been as uh, intimately uh, sort of uh, familiar with in the past. And that includes the line of business. That includes also, you know, the architects internally within companies that are designing sort of best of breed architectures to deliver the technology infrastructures that will power their next generation of internal applications or even their own solutions to the market. It includes, you know, if you're talking about ML ops, it includes talking to data scientists, right? And understanding, you know, what is that specific machine learning scenario that they are trying to, you know, train a model around and how do we help deliver the best solution for them? Because we also know that putting that in cloud most of the time is too far away from your data or the edge um, from which you are collecting data from, which again, becomes super expensive. You have latency issues um, and it's not a really great way to solve ML ops, right? We, ha we feel like we have a much better solution. And in talking to some of those audiences that are trying to solve those business challenges within our customer base, um, we are finding ourselves also talking to a lot of new audiences. And you know, one audience that I'm intimately familiar with is obviously the developer audience, right? Developers don't want to worry about IT infrastructure. They don't want to have to walk over and tell someone that, hey, I need you to configure X, Y, Z in order for me to start, you know, testing my code or my, you know, sort of MVP. They want to know that it's all managed, that it's quick time to value, and that when they're ready to go, the infrastructure is there and ready to be deployed against the project that they're trying to execute. So those are really important audiences that I feel like uh, we are starting to nurture and we will have a lot more content and relevance for um, going forward with GreenLake. Yeah, a re really important point there. Um, I want to also, you know, how do you uh, kind of, a, there's, there's a big ecosystem around GreenLake. So, uh, you know, give me a little bit about the, you know, the differentiation of HPE 
compared to some of the other hybrid solutions out there? And sure. then, because I look, there's you know obviously hardware and software solutions that HPE has internally, but then, yep. then you've also got you know VMware, Nutanix, Red Hat, and others that are that are partners. Uh, you know, for, for certain Absolutely. options there. How, how do you help customers sort through those? Yeah, absolutely. And I think it begins with delivering choice to our customers, right? At the end of the day, we need to make sure that we're optimizing for what our customers are looking to do. So there has to be an element of openness with HPE GreenLake that we're pretty proud to deliver. So we have multiple ISV partnership you know, partnerships. You mentioned some of them, you know, VMware and um, Nutanix uh, with respect to delivering some of our solutions. I, I think from a competitive advantage, you know, I go back to the fact that, you know, the 70% of apps and data that are still sitting on prem or, you know, in uh, colo and edges, um, our competitive advantage comes from being able to bring a true cloud experience um, to those apps and data where I would argue no one else can do this in a way that has you know, speed from a time to value perspective, um, scalability, right? Being able to sort of uh, go up and down, um, a managed for you, uh, a true pay per use model and billing at that level of granularity um, and the self-service, right? Allowing you to self-provision and do some of those things um, once we've delivered the core capabilities for you. Um, so from a competitive advantage, I feel like we cover off more of the cloud-like experiences than anyone else that, uh, does in the market. And then we also have the partnerships and the ability to bring in some of those third-party ISV solutions that work incredibly well on um, GreenLake. Yeah, uh, one of the challenges we've seen in the field is you know, customers, they do have, uh, we, we, I guess we know IT always is added. So, yes. you know, you mentioned, you know, there, there are shifts, but customers absolutely they have their data centers. They're using often multiple public clouds out there and then edge, you know, we're talking a lot to HPE about the edge. So uh, help us understand, you know, where GreenLake fits and, you know, how, how the portfolio helps customers as they need to be able to manage and optimize what they're doing across uh, all those disparate environments. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right. Um, customers, first of all, are going to have a multi-cloud and sort of a multi-modal uh, strategy, right? Some things they're going to put in the different public clouds and some things they're going to maintain on-prem or in a, in a colo. And, so, and then some things, of course, work better in an edge scenario. The great part about GreenLake is we solve the on-prem uh, estate problem in a really effective and cost-effective and time-to-value uh, perspective really, really well. But with GreenLake Central, we also give you the transparency to manage your public cloud um, footprint just as well. So we allow you to unify across the, the different footprints that you want to have. Um, and we're also you know, not proprietary when it comes to GreenLake Central, right? You can plug in um, other pieces versus, you know, maybe some of the hyperscalers that are trying to create more of a walled garden or a lock-in scenario where, yes, you get transparency, but only as long as you're within their solution. All right, so uh, I understand there's about a, a thousand customers or you've passed a thousand customers have. using GreenLake, uh, according to another interview that I did. So you've got sales, give us a little bit, you know, what would we expect for kind of customer adoption and, what else do you expect this, uh, us to be looking at from the GreenLake uh, offerings? Yeah, absolutely. And I think from you know a customer momentum perspective, it, it has just been fantastic to be part of this journey, at least for me for the past seven weeks. Um, and, and to see our customers really embrace this new way of how we deliver IT infrastructure to them, um, I think in a way that meets them where they are, right? As they're transforming, we're bringing that on-prem uh, cloud-like experience uh, to their doorstep without them having to feel the pressure of migrating everything, whether it makes sense or not, um, into the cloud. Um, again, in terms of what's coming new, um, I would you know, reiterate the fact that it is looking at all of the basic services like containers, VMs, storage, compute. Um, it's also starting to optimize around specific workloads, again, to, to the point earlier about MLOps. Um, but from what's new and exciting, I get really excited about, hey, I don't want our customers spending time thinking about how to architect and how to design the right IT or infrastructure offering. I want to be able to do that for them in order to deliver that experience that they need. And again, what that helps our customers with is cost, time to value, 
and the ability to get a pre-configured solution that is already optimized, right? We don't want our customers spending all of their time having to configure and architect IT infrastructure. We want them to worry about the business outcomes and then tell us what they need. And then we create those pre-configured solutions on their behalf, um, given their input. So, so again, it's a very cloud-like way to deliver our value to our customers. And I think it also frees up our customers to focus their resources on the real innovation that they need to drive at their business level versus focusing on things that you know we're experts in and we can bring to them uh, in a much quicker and more value effective way. A a absolutely, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, what we've heard loud and clear from customers they need to be able to shift away from things that they don't have differentiation and don't add value to the business and focus on those business aspects. Arwa, congratulations on, on, on the new position and Thank definitely uh, look forward to watching the continued progress. Uh, good buzz around GreenLake. Fantastic. Thank you, Stu. Thanks for having me. All right, stay tuned for lots more coverage from HPE Discover, the virtual experience. I'm Stu Miniman, and thank you for watching theCUBE. Mm -hmm.